Hey guys, uh, it just dawned on me that um, somebody had a bunch of people had asked earlier in this build how I paint with nail polish. Um, I have to do some touch ups on the Mustang, so I decided I'd show you real quick. Well, I started and then I realized I should show you. But anyway, here's what you do you get yourself a jar, you take your nail polish, you pour the whole thing into the jar. Easy peasy, right? So you've emptied the entire thing into your other container. Now you want to fill your jar up again with your lacquer, lacquer thinner. You don't need expensive lacquer thinner. Anything will pretty much work. Um, I'm running low so it's taking me a little while here but um, I'm just using this cheap stuff I got at Home Depot. It's nothing expensive, it's nothing special. Just good old lacquer thinner. Pouring it in. And I'm going to fill the jar up just like it was when it was filled with nail polish. Okay. There we go. So, we're filled with lacquer thinner. Put the cap back on, give it a good shake. And what we're doing is, we're also cleaning all the polish off the inside. So we get every drop of it. Now we're going to take this and we're going to pour it into our container with our nail polish. Okay. Empty. Now you got your nail polish in here. Take the lid. Now, if you listen, what that is in there is the BB that was in here. And of course, when I poured the nail polish in, it fell into here, which is okay because now it acts as the same, it does the same purpose as it does a nail polish and it causes it to, as you shake, to mix up your nail polish. And that's it. So one to one, nail polish and thinner, and just mix it up into a jar, and you're set to go. Now we've got all this. This probably here would probably do a whole another car, but I didn't know how much I needed, so I just went and did the whole thing. Um, to be honest with you, um, I had a little bit left over from the last time I repainted the Mustang. Um, it didn't last very long, and I'm talking like a month or so. Uh, not like hours we're talking you know weeks um, but anyway if you decide to try this I mean it just opens the door to a whole slew of new color combinations that you can do for your car especially when it comes to like custom jobs um, race car stuff like that I mean take a look down you know next time you go to your local Walmart or Target or or wherever it is that they sell these things I mean it's funny because I'll even go to like the local um, CVS or you know whatever drugstores are by you and I take a walk down the aisles and I, I look at it don't be afraid guys I mean we're grown men so who cares what people think you're not actually putting it on so it doesn't matter or maybe you are and that's that's okay too <laughs> but no really um, take a look because the colors really are amazing they really are and just like paint depending on what um, the primer that you put below it first, it's going to change the color up a little bit. Uh, for this car, obviously, uh, you remember I used um, a white primer underneath this way. I got the, the brightest pink that I could. Um, but yeah, give it a try. And it's inexpensive. Yeah, there's some nail polish that's out there for like 10 bucks or so. But I get these for, I, you know, close to a buck, maybe a little over a buck. But um, a whole jar of this is more is a, a lot less expensive than it is for a, a jar of paint from the hobby shop 
you know, and now I'm not trying to put hobby shops out of business. I mean, you're not going to get all the colors, but it's just, it just expands your repertoire. It expands what you can do with the colors and what you'll be able to do with your models. So give it a try. Um, if you have some glue bombs or something like that, maybe you want to try it on, uh, you know, spare body first. But anyway, or some spoons. Take, you know, the old adage of taking plastic spoons and spraying them. But, um, I got some mirrors to go paint, so uh, I'll catch you guys later.